In last month's Excel tip, we talked about how to use the fill command to fill in a selected area with a certain text or, or numbers, or better yet, you can use the a series so you can fill in, for example, your first quarter. You can automatically fill across first quarter through fourth quarter. And that works great as long as Excel recognizes the series that you want to fill. But if you've got a custom series that you use over and over and want to avoid typing, such as this list of sales reps, you can create a custom list uh, for those. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go up to the File tab. We're going to go to Options and Advanced. Scroll down to the bottom, and there's a button here for Edit Custom List. We click on that. And since I highlighted this beforehand, you can see that the cell references for what I have highlighted are already filled in here in the import list from cells field. So I'm going to import that, and there's my list right there. If I wanted a new list, we can go to new list, and maybe I want uh, one for sales regions. Just hit enter to get to the next line. And there we have our sales regions. I hit add. And you can see it added that as a list. So now we'll say OK. And, and OK again back here at the options window. And now we can use either of those lists using the normal fill functions. Now you'll notice that I included the heading as part of my list. There are a couple of reasons that I do that, but there may be situations where you won't want to do that. Um, for one, it's easier to remember sales rep than it is to remember who the first name is in the list. And then also if your list, list changes, then it's a lot easier if you, your heading stays the same. But if this is a list that's going to repeat, you may not want to include the heading. For example, if I fill this down farther, you'll see the heading continues to repeat along with the name. So there may be cases where you don't want that, so you just leave it out and don't include it as part of your list. You can also use the fill button by choosing series and then autofill and that will use your custom lists also.